Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back or welcome if you happen to be new here to my channel. On this channel, I discuss luxury items, fashion, beauty, fragrances, and a little bit of travel and other parts of my life depending on what's going on. So if you happen to be interested in any of those things, I would love it if you would become part of my YouTube family here by subscribing. And you can also click the little bell icon below so you'll be notified each time I happen to upload a video here on this channel. So, as you guys know from recent videos, I recently purchased a few items from a brand that I haven't purchased anything from in decades, like over 20 something years, and that brand is Coach. So back in the day, I absolutely love Coach. I love their all leather bags. I remember when I graduated from college, I saved up and I purchased a nice Coach big leather satchel and coach was just amazing back in the day but then they kind of changed their direction like when they started making the bags with the fabric and all the seeds all over them I fell out of love with them and I don't know it just wasn't my thing so I kind of moved on to other brands and things like that but I still wasn't interested in coach what happened was I was on this text thread with several of my other YouTube sisters here and they were going crazy over this coat sale which was 50% off which is still going on and then they had an additional 20% off on the weekend. All of those people I will put their names below so definitely make sure you check out their channels. They all have all these coach unboxings and reveals. I, like I said, wasn't interested in, in purchasing any coach items, but it just got the best of me. I'm like, let me just go onto this website and just check this out for myself. So when I did, I was pleasantly surprised. They have a lot of amazing bags on there and other items. So yeah, I've kind of fell back in love with coach. So anyway, picked up some items and the two bags that I picked up. I did pick up some other accessories, but these are the two bags that I picked up. Yes, I still have them if you saw my other video. I still have both of them. I asked you guys to help me choose which color, this beautiful blue or the black. And I was leaning toward one, but then when I picked it up today to do this video, I'm in love with both of them again. <laughs> So now I'm stuck again. So let me know on that video or this video which one I should get. This one is the beautiful blue which is called Chambray. And it has beautiful pewter or like this gunmetal color hardware which is what I love. It has a little bit of suede. It has a snakeskin handle. And it's beautiful color block. Two different colors of blue. And you guys know that light blue is my favorite color. And then I will also picked up a black because I just wanted a nice neutral color that would go with everything. And that's why I got the black one. The black one is in beautiful, you know, all pebbled leather. This one has uh, pebbled leather here and then like a smoother refined leather, I believe, here. Along with the snakeskin and along with the suede. I promised you guys I would come on and do a comparison with this bag, which... As you guys can see, it's very similar to the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. This one is actually a limited edition called Info Rouge. As most of you guys know, I did not like the Pochette Matisse when it first came out. I didn't get all the hype. I honestly thought the bag was ugly. Forgive me, but I did. And then I saw this one. This one was just different and it kind of spoke to me. It kind of matches my personality. It's a little edgy. So I picked this one up and this is such a great functional bag and I absolutely love it. Today's video is just going to be a comparison of the two. So let's just get into it. So a lot of people actually say that Coach copied the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. This is called the Cassie. This is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. However, Coach actually had a similar bag back in the day called the Court Bag and if you guys remember a long time ago I actually sold all of the Coach bags that I had in my collection other than three that I kept that are still here in my 
possession I have a video on my sentimental bags uh, that I'll put down below. I will also put one at the end of this video if you want to check that out. So I have three left. All the other ones I sold here on YouTube on a video and I still have people actually messaging me to this day asking me if I still have the bags but I don't. Uh, one of the bags I believe that I sold was the court bag. It was very similar to this however the inside is different. Yeah, the reason that I decided to pick up the coach bags was because I like to travel and a lot of times when I go out of the country I really like this bag for travel because it's a great crossbody bag very convenient very good for traveling but I've had things stolen and sometimes you just want to fly under the radar you don't want to carry an expensive bag and worry about it or have attention drawn to it so that is why this one caught my attention it's just nice and classy and simple lines like it doesn't scream a lot of labels on it i don't even really like labels i just like this one because it was different but anyway that's why i picked this bag up so it would be a great traveling bag and kind of fly under the radar uh, when i was going to indonesia and i also went to costa rica i remember wanting to carry this bag but because of those reasons i didn't but now, like the Cassie, will definitely fit those needs. Right. So let's just get into the bag, the similarities and the differences. So as you can see from the front, the front is the same or similar, uh, except this one has more of a V shape and this one has more of a rounded shape. Personally, I like the way this v-shape kind of breaks up the square here but i just tend to like angles i don't know that's just my personal preference and this one has a lock that you just push here it has two buttons but you just push one of them and it opens like so so it has like this little thing here that goes into the hole and you just click it closed while this one has a turn lock and actually you need to put something in here or else it's kind of hard to open and close in the front pocket here which I will show you but it just has this beautiful brass hardware which has the C and you just twist it closed like so like I said it's a little hard when there's nothing in there but anyway other than that it's very easy to open and close they both have a similar top and this is one of my favorite features of this bag, which is the top handle. When I am in the car, uh, I just grab it by the handle. When I take it off, when it's on my shoulder, I just take it off like so. So that is very convenient and that is one of the features I love about the bag. So this one is actually full, has stuff in it and this one doesn't. As far as the sides, the sides are very similar. Both have like these three compartments, as you can see. And as far as the bottom is the same, no feet or anything. And then the back, they both have a pocket. However, the Louis Vuitton has a zippered pocket and this one just has an open slip pocket which I actually really like that about it because I tend not to put hardly anything in here just because I don't really like zipping and unzipping it all the time. And it's just kind of slim in here and I just, I honestly don't put anything in here. They both have removable straps. It is adjustable. It has seven holes. The holes are just open like so. However, on the Louis Vuitton, it has metal covered grommets over the holes so this one also has seven holes also both are adjustable both are removable the louis vuitton has a clasp like so and you just remove it like this if you want put it back on and this one has an attachment like this with just one rivet here and the Cassie also has the adjustable seven hold strap. Like I said, just the holes with no grommets on it. 
and this one the clasp is more of a lobster claw detaches like so and just attach it back it does have coach on the hardware here also on the clasp here and then this one has two rivets here that say coach on it also the length of the strap on the cassie bag as far as the website goes it says it is 42 and a half inches the total length and the strap drop is 21 and a half from here to here i honestly did not look up the measurements of this but they are similar uh, i almost forgot to mention that coach actually has different strap options so you can actually purchase different straps for your bag to dress it up or just change the look and i actually went into the coach store the other day yesterday actually and picked up a little something so i was going to show this to you on a different video but anyway i'll just show it to you here now this one is like they have different straps if you want to change up the look of your bag and all different colors and right now they're on sale i believe this one was just 47 dollars, or this one might be 75 because it has like little details on it but they have other ones for 47 dollars only so like you could you know change up the look of your bag with this or i could put it on the blue one because you guys know <laughs> i love this color or if i actually get a white bag i can actually change it up on that also they have all different colors and different prints on them some are plain if you want to just change it up so like I could put this on here. That is another option and another thing that I love that Coach has done, uh, giving you more options and stuff. Here's the push-up Matisse. I have it on the very last hole at the bottom. Hits me about right here. Like I said, I'm 5'4 for reference. So there you go. Sorry guys, my closet's a little messy right now, so just pretend like you don't see it. And then as a shoulder bag. It's kind of long as a shoulder bag. I don't normally wear it like this, but anyway. And then the Cassie, which I have this one on the third from the top hole. So maybe the strap is a little bit longer, but it hits about the same place. And both of them together as a crossbody. Let's see. So, Bichette Matisse, Cassie. And let's get my hair out the way. So you can see a little bit better. They hit about the same place. So perhaps maybe the strap is longer on here. Uh, because like I said, I have this one on the third hole from the top. And this one is the very last hole. So, or maybe the holes are different or backwards or in a different place. I don't know. But anyway, uh, they look about the same place on me. Sorry, I did forget to show you guys that the coach actually does come with this little tag here that says coach on it, these little dog tags, and you can actually now get them hot stamped at coach with these asian symbols or other things on them this blue one has a nice you know pebble leather and then on the other side it is the same other blue color as this so as far as the pricing this Pachette Matisse is around two thousand dollars i don't actually remember the actual prices of them but we're going to say it's basically $2,000 and up, depending on which leather or canvas that you get. This $2,000, this 
all leather one or the one without the snake skin is $350 and this one is $395 because it has snake skin on it. I actually thought maybe they were going to cancel my order because on the website it said that they wouldn't ship snake skin to California, which is where I live. I live in Los Angeles, California. But uh, they actually shipped it to me and now I can't find that on the website anymore. So I don't know, maybe they changed their mind. Or... As you guys know, the Pichette Matisse has the infamous problems with cracking and glazing along here on this flap and on the canvas just because this constantly moves and it has cracking and glazing issues, which is basically a problem for a $2,000 bag that continues to be recalled and has all kinds of problems so that's another advantage of getting this bag uh 350 dollars versus 200 um 200 to a thousand dollars my bag actually does have cracking and glazing issues which i did a video on i'll put that video at the end of this video and in the description bar below but yes that is a problem so yeah Any let's get into the inside of the bag so as you can see this one is stuffed already with my stuff in it it has three compartments one here a bigger one here in the middle and then another one in the back uh the inside of this one is like micro suede and the other ones like the impromptu leather of the louis vuitton have like a material lining Similar to the Neverfull, which cuts down on the weight of an all leather bag. And as far as these, they're the same in both. They both have this beautiful oxblood or burgundy lining, which has coach stitched on it. And same three compartments, one in the front, a larger middle one, and then it also has one in the back so here is the difference in the coach versus the louis vuitton as you can see it was hard to see well i couldn't even tell on the website that's one of the problems with uh the pictures on the coach website is that this has this additional pocket right here which is great like you could put some gum or maybe if you had a smaller cell phone it would fit there or whatever else you want to put in there which i actually like about this and it also has a zippered pocket right here that you can put something in and then it has like this little leather plaque right here so the louis vuitton does not have the pocket on the inside so I really like that that the Cassie has the pocket. Now the older original version of the Pichette Matisse did have like the slip pocket here in the middle compartment, but the newer ones do not. I really like that about this Cassie. This is all the stuff I have in here. Like I said, it's very helpful if you have something in the front pockets of either one of the bags just because it makes it easier to close. When you don't, it's so much harder to close. I always put something there. So right now I just have my cell phone in here and I also have a mirror in there in the front pocket. I have my mini pochette here in the center pocket so I just like to stand them up straight and then I also have my keys these are my six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton and then I have my sunglass case which I just put up and down some piece of paper from <laughs> something about drug problems in the Los Angeles Restoration Church and then I have this beautiful wallet that I got from Coach, one of my recent purchases. I still have the tag on it and not expensive either, like $99, I believe. And I have these earbuds and then there's some money in here. Nothing really in the back pocket, but some, oh, some more money. Cool. 
nothing in the uh this back pocket but some some random papers so anyway it's empty that's the inside of the pochette matisse the three pockets is the same and if you wanted to know about the blue one here is this one same format same pocket same everything else three pockets also same inside color as the black one so. basically this one just has the extra pockets which i absolutely love here and let's just put all the stuff back you know switch it up so i put this wallet in the back very back pocket i'll put my headphones here i don't really carry a lot of stuff anymore you guys i will put my mini pochette in the middle larger compartment just standing up i will put my keys in here in the middle center pocket and then i will put my sunglasses also in the middle compartment and then in the front pocket i will just put these back in here which is my phone and this mirror because i always like to have a mirror and then you just close it like so and there you go twist it and that's what it looks like so these are my thoughts and my comparison between the louis vuitton pochette matisse for two thousand dollars or the beautiful coach cassie all leather version for 350 dollars and the beautiful color blocked version with snakeskin detail for 395 dollars so let me know guys in the comment section below which one i should choose the blue or the black i'm still undecided or on my other video over there that i did i'm still I still love both of them, but I don't need three of them. That would just be crazy. Uh, three of these, no way. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I did actually pick up some other coach items, which I will be sharing with you on an upcoming video very soon. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you picked up anything recently from coach. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have an amazing day, guys, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.